Hello everyone, happy Thursday, and I hope you're ready to hear me talk about some of my favorite female fictional characters. Okay, so number one is one of my childhood favorites from my childhood favorite series, and that series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. And Violet Baudelaire from this series was the epitome of what I wanted to be when I was a kid. I grew up reading these books and seeing this really cool, awesome girl who was an older sister who took care of her younger siblings, and she was an inventor, and I thought this was the coolest thing thing ever. She could take random knickknacks and tiny things and in a really tight situation she could make something that would help them end up solving a problem. So in these high pressure situations this young, in some cases like 14 year old girl, would be able to use her skills and the th things around her to be able to create something else. And she was so brilliant and she was such an awesome role model of strength and ingenuity and it was really cool. All she needed to do was just tie her hair up with a ribbon. I even, you know, wore my hair in a ribbon and had my hair cut exactly like the girl from the movies because I just really wanted to be this awesome, smart, innovative, cool person and I think that that was such a prime role model and such a really interesting character for girls to be reading about when they're young and see that it's totally possible for a girl to go into something like inventing or engineering. Second is from one of my other favorite book series, The Protector of the Small, and th these are books by Tamora Pierce, and she has a bunch of different really strong, awesome female characters in this fictitious kind of medieval style world, and one of my favorite characters and one that I always identified very strongly with was Kel. And so this girl became the first female knight after women were allowed to become knights. The first female knight disguised herself as a man in order to be knighted and to go through all of the school and training so no one knew that she was a woman. But Cal was this first woman who stepped up to the plate, even though it had been years since they had decreed that women were allowed to now become knights because they were physically and mentally and emotionally capable of doing so, she was the first one to really approach the situation and come into this very male-dominated world. And so the story of her struggle and her searching for acceptance and her coming of age and being a woman in this completely different male-dominated realm and the school where they treated her so differently just because she was a woman. They instead put her on probation even though she should have been allowed to go straight into being a page. And All of these different levels of her struggle and her becoming a woman and also becoming a knight were a really cool role model for me and a really neat way for I think other women and young girls to see that they can realize their potential even in a world that is dominated by men. Last and certainly not least, I've recently got into 30 Rock and Liz Lemon is rapidly becoming one of my favorite fictional characters from anything ever. She's absolutely hilarious, has such a weird and unique way of going about things in the world and I find myself in stitches laughing at the way that she interacts with the world and other people around her. She has this like quirky liberal feminist edge to her while still being in the corporate world and kind of finding her way and all of that. Her relationship with food and her weirdness, I just, I find myself identifying with that so much and I totally love that there's a woman like Tina Fey being out in the world of comedy and just being who she is and providing this really different alternative and thoughtful individual in the media I think is amazing and so sad that 30 Rock is ending tonight. So with that sad note, I will leave you with these three awesome female fictional characters and if you haven't been familiarized with them, especially Tina Fey as Liz Lemon, please do yourself a favor and go read up on these characters because you will appreciate it, I hope, as much as I do. Thank you and have a good night!